Supplies and cages. The home of the mini lop should have a wire enclosure and a durable bottom. The bottom should have soft bedding lined up to be comfortable for your rabbit. Because mini lops are small, there is no need to create a bigger enclosure. You must also secure rabbit hay feeders, which are usually attached along the side of the enclosure. This will allow your mini lop to pull them and chew when they feel hungry. When it comes to the tank bedding, you may want to use aspen or wooden pellets. Pelleted horse bedding is another thing that you can use. Avoid cedar or pine. The mini lop cage may be cleaned using a cage cleaner or homemade products such as baking soda or white vinegar. Avoid using a commercial cleaner, as well as other materials that may be toxic for your pets. Daily spot cleaning of their bedding is recommended, you must replace this every week. This will maintain the tank's health by getting rid of feces, which is essential in keeping the rabbit and its home clean. This also minimizes any ugly smells. Mini lops are usually very clean animals. They will also groom themselves and even each other. They are crepuscular, which means that they are active in the daytime and evening. Their feedings are done in the evening, and they sleep for an average of 8 hours. Mini lops are born without fur and with their eyes closed. They love to be in groups, which means that you may consider this if you want to have a big group of mini lops as pets. Indoor versus Outdoor Cage You may also decide whether you want the cage of your rabbits indoors or outdoors. Consider that there are advantages and disadvantages of an indoor or outdoor enclosure. Rabbits that are placed indoors usually have longer lives and are known to be more social and happy. Meanwhile, rabbits that are trained to live outdoors are skittish and may be easily affected by weather changes, temperature, mites, predators, fleas, as well as other health complications. If you want to keep your rabbits inside and do not have enough space, you can construct an outdoor cage to play and socialize. Meanwhile, outdoor cages are easier to clean. These also give your rabbits more room for running around. Remember that the cage should be kept away from direct sunlight and in areas where there's no moisture. The cage must be well protected against predators such as other pets like cats and dogs. An indoor cage may need more maintenance, while outdoor enclosures may just need to be swept daily or hosed down to clean. Consider these pros and cons as you pick the right kind of enclosure that's right for your needs. Teeth When taking care of mini lops, you must also make sure that these have good teeth. A regular checkup of their teeth is needed. This ensures that their teeth will not overgrow. This is why rabbits chew so much or whenever they can. Their teeth grow too long. When this happens, the teeth can grow right into the mini lops mouth and jaws. This could be extremely painful for the rabbit. And due to this, a diet that is high in hay is recommended because this files down the rabbit's teeth naturally while they chew. Consider keeping the health of your rabbit's teeth and you can save yourself from expensive vet bills. Mini lops are just like other rabbits, they love chewing on things. These rabbits have powerful teeth and will even chew on any wooden part of the house, furniture, and even wiring. This can lead to injuries in the mouth and face and may also electrocute them if they try to gnaw on electrical wiring. To avoid these impossible accidents, give a mini lop some hay or chew toys as well as their food. Also, make sure that everything that goes to their mouth is safe and is not sprayed with herbicide or pesticides. To do this, you must make sure that you're giving only organic food to your pet rabbit. Younger mini lops need alfalfa hay as it gives them calcium, which is a nutrient needed for their growing bones. Adult mini lops will need legume hay. You must be careful about giving just any yard clippings or hay to your mini lops. Mini lops must be kept in pairs because of companionship. Experts say that being with another rabbit contributes to the happiness of the rabbit and may even allow them to live longer. In the wild, rabbits are extremely social, therefore, you should also encourage socialization even in captivity. Another important thing in taking care of mini lops is that you should take it to the vet for deworming. This is a major concern and should be completed in the spring and fall. You can buy deworming products for animals such as a deworming paste. Just use a pea-sized amount of deworming paste and put it in the mouth of the rabbit. It will lick the paste off and swallow it. This may be sufficient for your pet rabbit. Health Concerns The mini lop is prone to all kinds of diseases that are common among rabbits. There is no specific illness unique to mini lops. Because of this, it is recommended to check your rabbit for possible signs of illnesses. These must also receive standard vaccinations recommended for rabbits. Expert breeders suggest that unlike larger rabbit breeds, mini lops have a more sensitive digestive system, therefore, you must always consult your vet. A vet can check baby rabbits for enteritis, bloat, and gut stasis. This is important, especially since the rabbits are less than 8 weeks of age. Check ear or mites, fleas, and ticks. These parasites can multiply fast and can feed on the blood of your rabbit. 
This is usually the result of poor hygiene, husbandry, and overall cage management. Consider some ill health signs such as lack of appetite, poor drinking, nasal and eye discharge, diarrhea, lack of energy, and other symptoms. Grooming Many lops need regular grooming to keep their fur soft and clean. This must be done at least once a week. You must do this more when they are molting to prevent wool blocks. Grooming will prevent the rabbits from ingesting their furs as they self-groom. When fur accumulates inside their stomachs, this can block the flow of food and stools, causing a huge problem. Never bathe your rabbits because this can stress them. Perform spot cleaning using a damp towel if they are dirty. You must cut their nails every month, and check their mouth for overgrowth teeth. Also, their cages, both indoors and outdoors, should be spacious to allow them to hop, stretch, and play freely. Keep the rabbit enclosure tight under lock and key to prevent your rabbits from escaping. Breeding Many lops should be 6 months old before they can start breeding. The bucks may breed as young as 4.5 months, but breeders wait until 6 months so you can be sure that these are ready to breed. Male rabbits are ready to breed once their testicles have descended. The gestation period lasts from 28 to 33 days, while most females may deliver on days 30 to 31. If you want to breed mini lops in captivity, choose a date that you want for the birth, so you'll be at home to provide the nesting box. You must plan to ensure that you will be present when the babies need to be with their mom. This is to avoid any issues before they are weaned from their mother. Rabbits may conceive and give birth no matter what season of the year. During the summertime, the babies may make the mother more uncomfortable because it's too hot. However, it is also dangerous for babies to be born in the wintertime because it's too cold as they are born hairless. Remember, if the mother does not do well, the babies could all die. Therefore, choose spring and autumn as the best dates to deliver her babies. The smallest mini lop rabbit is a small breed of rabbit that weighs only 2 kilograms. Compared to the dwarf lop, which is a medium breed that weighs only 2.5 kilograms. The size and the compactness of a mini lop rabbit have made it a very popular breed to care for. These rabbits are small and will remain small for the rest of their lives. However, overfeeding can lead to an obese rabbit and may also cause several health issues related to weight and being obese. Mini lop rabbits will only tolerate fruits and vegetables and will not eat meat no matter how tasty it is. Mini lop rabbits will start as aloof and cautious, but once you handle it daily and you allow it to explore its surroundings and to perceive you as a caring owner, it will become friendly, outgoing, and may even want to play with you. The mini lop will live up to 10 years in captivity. Lops that live this long receive good care, proper nutrition, and a lot of love and attention from their owners. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.